Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on today's um, episode or devotion from this Go For It book, <laughs> I just honestly cannot believe how God works. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. But he, he is just so amazing. It makes me almost wanna weep how he orchestrates everything. Um, so this book, in case you're wondering, is about how we can boldly live the life that God has created uniquely for each one of us. It was written by Melissa Horbath, and I'll put a link to it in the comments when I'm all finished. We're on number 39. Um, I'm going to pray, and then we'll jump right in. It's, oh, this is so good. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for this devotional. Lord, thank you for how you are working. Uh, help, help remind me to always be praising you, not just to be asking you to fix this or that or for what I want, but to praise you, Lord, for who you are and whose I am. And Lord, thank you so much for the reinforcement um, that you've given me today in that I've already done something using a very, very similar verse talking about praising you. Um, so I just, we love you. Uh, we praise you, Lord. And we just ask that you will be with us to help us to take this verse and these ideas in and then live them out. And I pray all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start reading. Okay, number 39 is entitled Pray and Rejoice, and it's from Psalm 106, verses 1 to 2. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord or declare all his praise? Psalm 106. One to two. And, um, okay, so earlier today, if you're watching this live, I don't know why, but I felt led to post pictures of a garden flag that I made last year in June of 2022 using this stencil. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Um, I am, my family's going through a lot with my mother. Um, on hospice, but I'm, I'm trying to just praise him through this. And this is from Psalm 150, verse 6. So then when I open my devotional to, um, to read ahead of time and to think about it, it's all about praising and rejoicing in the Lord. I'm like, wow, God, you are so amazing. Anyways, um, so let me start reading what the author has to say. And this is convicting for me. It might be convicting for you as well. Okay, she says, do we come to God only with our problems? God loves to hear our prayers of praise and gratitude as well. We can become so focused on the problems we want him to fix for us and for others that they consume us. It is easy to take the good things God does for us for granted. What does our prayer life look like? Do we send up praise to him even when times are difficult? Oh my gosh. Um, do we thank him for something as simple as having food to eat today or making it to work on time when we thought we would be late? God wants to hear from us in all things. Praise flows naturally when we pause to remember all the blessings flow from him. And then she goes on to say, at church when I was growing up, we'd often say the doxology written by Thomas Ken. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen. Um, he's got this and uh, so if you're watching this live 
in July of 2023. I have just, whoops, I've just been in Boise, Idaho for six days with my mother who just came home from the hospital on hospice and who is not doing great. Uh, and I was telling my daughter-in-law this morning how I felt about the end of her life coming that I've already lost my mother because this person is not the same person as my mom is. I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful to spend time with her, but um, God. Okay, I'm sorry I'm back. I'm getting phone call after phone call right now. Um, so when it, this said, how about praising God during the storms of life? I was like, oh my gosh, God. And then I chose to sh share some pictures this morning of a um, garden flag that I made using this verse, which is very similar. This is Psalm 150, verse 6. It's very similar to Psalm 106, verses 1 to 2. Um, God's just, he's reminding me that he's got it and that I need to fix my eyes on Jesus and to praise him during this current storm. Okay, so then in the go for it section, she says, do you pray with no strings attached? During your prayer time today, think about a few things for which you can offer either thanksgiving or praise. Next, what storms can you pray about and tell God you'll trust him through? Last, bring your needs at the, and the needs of others to him in prayer. How will it change your prayer life now that you know you can pray through it all? Um, from my, my years in community Bible study and praying out loud, we always did the Acts prayer, which it's A-C-T-S. Let me see if I can remember. A stands for adoration. Um, who God is. Uh, C, oh, stands for confession, who I am. T is thanksgiving, the things we're thankful to him for. And S is for supplication, which is your, your wants and needs and please fix and please do this and that. And that's the order in which our prayers should go. I know a lot of time mine goes straight to the S, the supplications. And I skip the adoration, the confession, and the thanksgiving, and I go straight to the supplication. And maybe you do too. Um, but this is a good reminder for me, especially today, to pray and rejoice and to not leave that part out. When I remember who he is, and then I remember who I am, and then I, I thank him, before I start asking, then I have the right mindset. Oh, you guys are so sweet to me. Anyways, sorry to be so weepy today. Um, I loved this devotional. You don't have to necessarily have this devotional to come every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 1230 Eastern to do this devotional. You can just listen. But if you want it, um, let me know and I will get you a link. You do need a Bible, though. You need a Bible for way more than just this little devotional. You need a Bible for your life. And if you don't have a Bible that's in a translation that speaks clearly to you, that you can write your life in, uh, that has explanations where you naturally need explanations, um, I'm going to put in the comments a link to an online store that has, they carry these life application study Bibles, which is what mine is. And they have them in a lot of different translations. So if you are an ESV girl or a King James guy, um, whatever you are, NASB, The Message, whatever, um, they have them in different translations, different price points, and I'm not making any money on Bibles. The only reason why I want to give you a link for an online store for Bibles is because I think they're so crucial, and uh, it's hard to go through life 
it's even harder to go through life without God's word. And um, what was other? Oh, and they also have large print. So I think I will just go ahead and post all that in the comments, but let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you next time for number 40 in our devotional, which is who he is. And that sounds very interesting. So let me pray. And then I hope you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Lord, thank you so much for this day, for this devotional, for this sweet reminder to me and probably to lots of other people out there that we need to order our prayers, starting with who you are, confession who, who we are, and thanksgiving, uh, what we are, should be thankful for before we come to you with all of our requests. Um, so Lord, let our prayers be full of thanksgiving. Let our prayers be full of reflection on who you are and what you have done for us. And um, I just pray that you will help all of us to remember that. And I pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you for the next one.